Hi everyone and welcome to the 12th lecture of the tree series. In this lecture, I will be discussing the problem path queries 2. So the problem says you are given a tree consisting of n nodes. The nodes are numbered 1 to n. Each node has a value. Your task is to process the following types of queries. Firstly, change the value of a particular node S to X and then find the maximum on the path from nodes A and B. This is the given sample tree. These are the nodes, uh, the values of the nodes. This is the tree and these are the queries. Firstly, in the second type of query, for the query TN5, basically this path, the maximum is 4, right, on the second node. This would give 4. Now, if we change the value of the second node to 2, the but same query would give 3 because the fifth node has the value 3. Now, a brute force approach would be to call a DFS at one of the endpoints of the particular query and then find the maximum on the path to the other endpoint. Now, the time complexity for DFS is big of n. And if they are Q queries, it becomes big of n to Q, which is obviously too slow and won't work. Now, for a much faster solution, we can use heavy light decomposition. So, let's begin. Now, before we proceed further, we firstly need the subtree sizes for each node. So, let's do that. It would be 1 for these two, 3 for this, and so on. Now, I've written the subtree sizes for all the nodes. Um, a heavy child of a particular node is the child with the largest subtree size. Right? So, for the first node, the heavy child would be this one. And a heavy edge is the edge connecting the particular node to the heavy child. A light child is the is all the other particular children that are not the heavy child. And a light edge is the edge connecting a particular node to a light child. A heavy path is a path formed by collection of heavy edges. And a light path is a path formed by uh, connection of light edges. So, in this tree, if we mark all the heavy edges and light edges, this would be a heavy edge. So let's firstly mark it with red. And this is a light edge. So let's mark it with green. Now I'll mark all the edges. Now I mark all the edges as heavy and light. The red ones are the heavy edges and the green ones are the light edges. Now we can break this particular tree into a collection of segment trees. Now whenever there is a heavy child, I'll continue my particular segment tree, otherwise I'll break it and start a new one. So from the first node, this would be part of the same segment tree. So this, this, this and this. From here, I'll start a new one. So a new segment tree would, would, would consist of this, just this node. And then from here, a new segment tree would start from this particular node and go to this. Similarly, for this, this would be a segment tree, and then this node would be a segment tree by itself. Similarly, this and this. Now, each node in the tree belongs to one segment tree, and now if I want the maximum between two nodes that line the same segment tree, let's say between the third node and the tenth node, I can give the result in log n time by querying this particular segment tree, right? But let's see how we can do that for nodes and different segment trees. Firstly, the head of each segment tree is the topmost node in the segment tree. So for this segment tree, the uh, head is the first node. For this one, it's the second node. This one is the sixth node and so on. For all these you know, segment trees, the particular node is the head itself. So let's say I want to query and I want to find the maximum value in the path from the 10th node to the 15th node. So this is the path, right? 3 is the LCA. Now what I'll do is firstly, I'll find the heads of my endpoints. I'll check which 
head is at a higher depth and then for that node up till the head i'll do a segmentary query and find the maximum and then i'll travel a lighter edge a light edge to a higher node in the tree to a different segmentary and then i'll continue my process until i have reached the same segmentary for both the nodes which have the same head and then with a single segmentary query i can return my result let me show you with an example firstly for this segmentary uh, the 10th node is the head itself right so and this head is at a higher depth than the first node which is the head for the 15th node now the maximum from the 10th node till the 10th, 10th node would be the value of the 10th node itself which is 1 let me write it first then i will travel this edge and then i will go to this node which is the parent of 10th now the head of the 9th node is 6 and the head of the 15th node is 1 now 6th is obviously at a higher depth so firstly i will range query for this part of the segmentary the max of 7 and 1 is 7 so i will write 7 next i will travel this edge to the parent of 6 which is 3 now 3 and 15 have the same head which means they are in the same segmentary now i can just query for this part and the max of this is 7 so it will be 7 again and the max of all of these is 7 so my answer is 7 now i know a segmentary query is the go of log and time complexity and i need to query as much times as i am traveling a lighter edge right now let's say i am traveling a lighter edge x times so my time complexity for each query would become x into log n now when each time i am traveling a lighter edge my subtree size is at least doubling right because let's say i have a node with two children now the subtree size of this is x and this is the lighter edge and this is the heavier edge and this is y now this was a lighter edge so the subtree size of x would be at least it actually would be smaller than y so the subtree size of this particular node would be at least 2x right greater than 2x so each time i am traveling a lighter node my subtree size is doubling so let's say i am traveling x lighter nodes so my subtree size at the end of it would be 2 to the power x which i know could be maximum n which is the total number of nodes in a tree so x could be a maximum of log n multiplying this with this for each query my time complexity becomes log square n right so the total time complexity for all the queries becomes big o of q into log square n now let's look at the code firstly i'm taking the values and then the edges now firstly I am calculating the subtree sizes by running a simple DFS which is this function next I am doing another DFS which firstly finds the heavier child of the particular node now the heavier child will have the same head as the uh, particular node and all the rest would have the child as the head right also i'm not maintaining multiple segmentaries i'm just doing it in one so i need a counter which for each node i'm storing this value in a array node id and then i'm updating the segmentary for this node id and the value at this particular node id initially now after this dfs with each query firstly if this is an update query i am updating the segmentary for this particular node and the value this is a regular segmentary update then the find path function firstly this uh, while loop will run until the heads of both the nodes are the same now i am taking the node with the 
add depth and then and firstly take the maximum of the query segment uh, of the segment i'm doing a query between the particular node and the head node of that and then i'm going to uh, the parent of the head node and then repeating this until my both the nodes come in the same segment tree now once i have that i am finally querying in that segment tree and then returning the answer as in this query and update our basic uh, segment tree functions so that's it make sure you subscribe and share this video thank you for watching